All right, let's try this again. Hello, YouTube. That's the 781 here. So, <clears throat> this was the Toro in my short that I posted uh, about a week ago. Um, reason I said let me try this again, I didn't hit pl uh, record. Very important to do that when you're making videos. So, I already started to tear into this. Luckily, I realized it before I got the, the cover off, but you guys kind of missed... Um, a money shot. Anyway, backstory on this. Uh, ran last year. He said by the end of the season it was bogging down on him. And I asked if he meant like the auger, like it wasn't throwing snow. He said no, it was the engine was quitting on him. He had some other shop clean the carb. I don't know who they are, how good of a job they did, or what they did. He said it didn't seem right, and then this year wouldn't start at all for him. Um, he didn't take the gas out, so again, we know what happens when you do that. Here is what happened when I pulled the float bowl off. Yum. There's some remnants of water. Now, I drained this float bowl, too. And look at what... The inside has to offer. Ew. <laughs> Just solid jelly. Um, luckily, the bowl itself doesn't look uh, like it got rusted or anything, which is good. But definitely going to need a, uh, a date with the ultrasonic cleaner. So let me get you set back up, hit record again, and uh, we'll keep going. All right, so all I've done so far is obviously I took the bowl off and I removed this heat shield that goes over the exhaust. It's just held down with a bunch of eight millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So this comes off, put that up out of our way. I'm probably going to throw the bowl back on just so I don't lose anything. You guys probably saw that uh, the float pin was starting to creep its way out. So just make sure we get it to the bench all in one piece. By the way, when I got it home, I obviously tried the electric start and wouldn't start, wouldn't start. Drained the, uh, the, f the fuel out of the bowl, which is where you saw that picture. And after some time, it, it finally fired up but it was running horribly just surging 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 like crazy and I'm just kind of sneaking this I'm on this side so you guys can see sneak this cover off to the side and we have our primer line a little pinch clamp that comes off I think we can just leave that to the side gasket here and I have the fuel turned off I still haven't drained the fuel tank yet it's very full oh, probably half full yeah nope. cannot stress enough run your machines out of fuel don't bother with stay bill don't bother with Unless you're going to use ethanol-free fuel, then uh, you're still fighting, fighting the moisture. And we got that little governor spring. Let me make sure you guys are still looking. Zoom in. Little governor spring hooks right onto the throttle, and then this linkage will just pop right up, and she's out. All right, we'll get you over to the carb cam. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. As if we don't already know, right? So there's the bowl. We know that's gross. Pin's not rusty. Float moves. Another weird um, complaint he said was the guy who did the carb clean said it was too full of oil. And what does that tell you guys? I'm wondering if this thing had a um, 
gas leaking past the needle and seat issue. And how's that for quality control from Toro, huh? Can you guys see that little metal shaving? Is that from Toro or is that from the last guy? Yeah, it's like a little, little casting defect. But that's gonna that's gonna screw some things up. Oh well, she's coming out anyway. <sighs> Take a nice. Jet's coming out in the tube. Everything looks. Yeah, this just gel all the way through here. <laughs> it's pretty clean. I'm just putting it in my. Uh... Anybody uses ultrasonic cleaners? Look up um, tea bag infusers, and uh, that's what I've been using for years. Great for holding the little jets and little parts when they go in. All right, now we just gotta get the pilot out and look in there real quick. Just trying to get an idea of the threads. Looks like two threads, just about proud it's usually about six turns so half one half two half three half four half five half six half seven and a half and then you just get under this little flathead Nice and gentle, comes up nice and easy. That's, it's it's like gooey. It's like half gas and half gel. All right, I do have these O-rings in stock. I'm gonna change them as well. Um, I'm gonna take this choke arm off. Just because it's plastic. If it cooperates, that is. Yes. Anytime I can avoid putting plastics in the uh, ultrasonic, I do. It gets pretty hot, and uh, the liquid itself can be harmful to some materials. And that's about as far as we can take it, right? All right, we'll turn you on after the bath. Sorry about the noise in the background, but this is why it's so important. Every time you do a carb cleaning, drain the tank. There's even more rusty water. And look at that. I think, I don't think it's, well, it's hard to say whether that's the tank or it's just the rusty water, but the rust is coming from somewhere. Oh, is that a spider? How'd that get in there? Well, I'm gonna clean it the best I can, but I can almost guarantee the last guy did not do this. But who knows? Yeah, no, sorry. This is just brutal. Hope you guys can see. It's just like, this tank is going to be a problem. I mean, it's just a... Uh, oh, nuts. So this has quickly turned into a remove the gas tank video. So we're going to have one acorn nut right there. Another one right here. Pop the uh, throw on the lever off, just pull right off of the screwdriver. And the last, last one's gonna be right there. Eight millimeter. And that's a view from the front. You can kinda see it right there. There's not a lot of room in here for you guys and the camera, so I'm just gonna proceed. So this cover has to come off to get the gas tank off. And Toro, so nicely, 
put this recoil in the way so this can't slide off unless you pull the recoil off, which is just four bolts, but come on. You just can't make this stuff up. <clears throat> so the four simple eight millimeter bolts, they were so tight, it actually cracked my socket. Yeah, you can see it right there. Cracked, and this is an impact snap on eight millimeter socket. I had to put a friggin' breaker bar on the other three. It rounded out that head. So I have an easy out now that I'm gonna hammer on, but you know, one simple thing leads to so many other things and people wonder why things cost so much money to get them fixed. <laughs> yep, you're watching this correctly. This is an impact driver. Why? They're not even rusty. It's why is it that tight? <sighs> Moving on. So once you've gotten that <coughs> pull cord off, this will sneak forward far enough for you to get the fuel line off of the fuel shut off. And then you can just put this thing aside. And it looks like we have at least one other nut here. And that might be all that's holding us up. So let me get that off and we'll see. So looking a little further, the starter, just the plug has to come off so that this side cover can come out of the way. It's just four eight millimeter bolts. And that is all that's holding the rest of the tank on. There's no need to take the 13 millimeter nuts off. It's just part of a bracket that'll come off in one piece. All right, well, here's the best I could do. Just with some hot water and a, a rag and a bunch of shaking. And I'm not happy with it. So what I'm going to do now is I've got the uh, outlet plugged up. I'm going to pour some evaporust in it just about, just about to cover half tank and uh, give it a couple hours, see how she does. Well, anyway, soup's done. So we'll let that uh, evaporust do its thing. I've had, I've had great luck with evaporust. Can't say enough good about the, the product. Um, environmentally friendly, biodegradable, and it works. I've used it on a couple of tanks. The, the biggest issue with that tank is it's got a lip around the inside. So you can't really, you can't dump it out the fill and the the drain hole is so small. It's just, it's, it sucks. I wish, I mean, everything else on the damn machine is plastic. Why can't they use a plastic fuel tank? Come on. The one time it would have been nicer to, to I don't want to say cheap out, but... Come on, you got a new gasket for the bowl. Just making sure I'm keeping you guys in focus, so. Let me know how you guys like this uh, point of view too, whether it's I move too fast or if it's uh, I go out of focus too much like that. You wanna try to catch that spring and then it'll, it'll hold itself in there. It won't fall. It's actually a nice design. And put that in there. Yeah, I do read every comment, and uh, I like I love I love constructive criticism. It's it's what I work off of. So if I don't I can if I don't know if you don't tell me I don't know. So bowl cleaned up beautifully. That's not a problem. I usually just kind of snug this. Um, nut bolt on by finger tight that way you can get the i know that the drain is in a good spot and it's gonna be roughly there snug that up and i gotta put the new o-rings on this now when i was taking this apart i noticed that the o-ring on the outside was here and that's where it goes but the innermost one was all the way up here. 
I thought it's supposed to go in the middle here. I'm gonna look it up real quick. I I, I could be wrong, and uh, it's been been known to happen. But I just want to make sure because you know where you said somebody's been in here before. I just want to make sure. Oh, why didn't you guys tell me I'm getting ahead of myself? You guys watching me forget to put the emulsion tube. You know, it's it's very stressful when you're on camera. Things that you would never forget, all of a sudden, you're just forgetting left and right. I could edit this out, but I won't. I forget so that you don't have to. That's what these videos are for, right? And you don't want to go too tight. <sighs> nice and snug. Slap that back on the proper way now. And let me look that up real quick. Nope, it was definitely on the correct way before. If you just type in Honda Pilot Jet, that's basically what this carb is. It's a Honda clone carb. And it goes, let me get this all the way on and then I'll be able to show you up close where it's supposed to go. All right, there, freeze, right here. First O-ring, indent, indent. Second O-ring, there's only one place it can go. And as always, <clears throat> put a little bit of oil. WD-40 is my choice of oils. Line it up so that it fits flat in the hole. Just a little pop, see? Nice, couldn't ask for anything better. You want it to just pop right down. If you go in dry, you have a bad time. Keep the jokes to yourself. And what do we say, about seven with this? Just get it close anyway. One, half, two, three, four. And that's about where that was, thread-wise anyway. All right, once the gas tank's done cooking, we have a carb at least, which is what I came here for. So I'll turn you back on in a minute. Now it's good practice with any carb that you rebuild, um, especially one where there's some backstory with it being too high on oil and uh, the needle and seat might be in question. I usually set it up in a vise. I have a uh, elevated fuel source. And I've just turned the valve on. If all if all's done right, should remain dry as a bone. I'll put a piece of cloth. I, a newspaper works best. Put a piece of cloth under it for a couple hours if there's any doubt in your mind. But I'm not seeing any uh, any early warning signs. So we'll come back to that once the evaporus is done cooking. And it's been roughly four hours. Everything's still dry as a bone. No spots, no drips. Excellent. All right, well, it is the next day. I let this sit overnight and um, it actually came out pretty, pretty well. I mean, you saw what it was before, especially down by the filter or where the filter goes through. Um, yeah, just evapor rust. You can already see it's, it's starting to flash rust. Um, how to prevent that, I'll usually spray a little WD-40 in there, but I literally just got done washing this thing out. You can't even see in there. And that's as good as it's going to get. Um, if you want a new gas tank, it's they're roughly 85 bucks, and nobody has one at the moment, or else I would have just offered him to get one but this is literally a year old machine i mean look at this plastic plastic it's all these are all wear items that are just going to wipe out why wouldn't they make plastic gas tank <sighs> blows my mind anyway let's get this thing back together all right <clears throat> that's a nice non-ethanol Give it every chance we can, right? 
These tanks are, uh, they're like the Hondas, they're a little deceiving. You think they're full, or they've got enough juice to run, and in reality, the fuel filter is so high above the bottom that it can't pick up fuel, and it'll try to run, it'll starve, it'll act like a carburetor issue. And, uh, yeah, so, all right, throttle up, key is on, give her a couple primes, see what happens. She's a runner. Runs pretty well too. There's a little bit of uh, there was a little bit of hunting there a second when I turned on the uh, the auger, but that smoothed right out. These are all dialed in for California emissions, so they are going to run on the lean side. I usually don't like to drill out the pilot if the, unless there's like a terminal problem. <coughs> Gotta get the doors open. Yeah, unless, unless it's really surging, and I mean, that carburetor is clean as a whistle. Um, you can take that pilot jet, you know, the little plastic one with the black O-rings, and you can drill out that hole slightly bigger. But, awesome. We'll get this buttoned up, change the oil, and send her on our way. And that wraps this one up. Definitely did not see that coming. Oh, so... What is this? Oil change, carb clean, gas tank, rejuvenation, and a full grease job. Ugh, word to the wise, metal tank, check the bottom. Especially before you uh, quote somebody a price to fix their non-running snowblower. Anyway, hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, thanks again for liking, watching, commenting, subscribing. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.